YouTube, Mad Scientist 72 here. I'm uh, going to attempt the Miller-Urey experiment uh, for the second time here. Um, and as you can see, I um, I have my uh, my flat my primordial ocean here, the flask for the primordial ocean. I have 500 milliliters of distilled water, um, as well as um, 15 grams of sodium carbonate and 15 grams of potassium carbonate. And I also added um, uh, 10 grams of iron powder. So those three reagents I added to the, to the flask. Um, and the purpose of that is that when you, uh, add, when you do the experiment with nitrogen and CO2, you get um, acidity, you get an, an acid buildup. So by having an alkaline ocean, starting with an alkaline ocean, you're able to prevent the acidity buildup, which actually uh, is will destroy the amino acids that are produced. Um, and uh, Stanley Miller did that did this experiment in uh, 1983, and he did not have the alkaline ocean, and so he his experiment failed. There were no amino acids produced because they all got destroyed from the acidity. Um, and anyway, we have a new. Um, a new uh, elect, um, electrode flask. You can see it's uh, three liters, and uh, we have which uh, this represents the primordial atmosphere, which we're going to pump in nitrogen and CO2, as I talked about in my last video, and we're going to uh, uh, boil the water, and we're going to condense the vapor through the condenser column, and um, it's going to spill over into the uh, primordial ocean again, just like the the water cycle would be would have been on the primordial earth and so this is how we're going to do this experiment and so what I'm going to do first is to uh, to purge the apparatus using this vacuum pump and also the nitrogen and CO2 so while the vacuum pump is sucking out all of the air I'm going to be pumping in nitrogen and CO2 the nitrogen is in the back there and the CO2 is up front so that is how we're going to do this um, and also the uh, electrode here, as I should mention, it's a 60,000 volt electrode, uh, which is powered by this um, uh, ignition coil. Um, and that's the, actually the original voltage that Stanley Miller used in his experiment was 60,000 volts. And so we are going to, uh, we're going to do this today. I'm very confident that this time uh, this will be a success. And so we're going to start the purging process now. Um, and uh, since it's uh, a little bit uh, uh, messy and a little bit, uh, well, it uh, takes a little bit of doing to, uh, to get it right, um, I'm going to stop filming now and uh, we'll be, uh, I will, I will uh, resume the experiment uh, when, the, when the purging is, uh, is underway. So I hope that you'll stay tuned and thanks for watching. So as you can see now, we are uh, purging the apparatus with nitrogen and CO2, and we have our pump going, our vacuum pump. So uh, we're going to let this go for another um, 10 minutes, and then we'll be ready to uh, proceed. And then the next step would be to, uh, to uh, fire up the heating mantle and heat this, uh, this uh, primordial ocean uh, to boiling. And so, well, stay tuned for that. So we finally uh, purged the apparatus. And as you can see, we have our um, we have our uh, pump going here for the uh, condenser, and we're pumping ice water through this uh, column. And so the last step in the process is to basically uh, turn on the heat and to heat the water to boiling. So that's what we're going to do now. And when the water starts to boil, we will uh, we will uh, resume the experiment. So I hope you'll stay tuned. Well, we have our. Uh, our, our primordial ocean boiling. It's uh, producing a water vapor, which is collecting inside the um, the 3,000 milliliter flask, and it's condensing and falling back down as rain. Basically, that's uh, that's the idea here. This is uh, meant to replicate the uh, primordial Earth. We have the water cycle, uh, evaporation from the ocean, cloud formation, and then fall uh, the condensation falling as rain. And so the final step is we're going to um, we're going to introduce lightning into the apparatus, and I'm I'm very excited about this because I've never gotten to this point before. This is the first, and so now we're going to 
to fire up the 60,000 volt electrode and we're going to uh, simulate some lightning. So let's, uh, let's do that now. Okay, so here we go. And there we go. You can see the uh, electrode is, uh, is fired up and we're, um, we're doing some lightning now. So uh, we're going to let this go and uh, hopefully we can uh, produce some uh, organic compounds including amino acids. And I'm very proud of this. It, this was a long time in the making. And so uh, we will, uh, I'm going, we're, we're going to rejoin the experiment actually in a couple hours and we'll see what we, uh, see if we have any color change in the uh, condensed liquid there. I don't think that we will because we're only using nitrogen and carbon dioxide, but you never know. So uh, we're going to see and uh, we will um, we'll rejoin the experiment in a couple hours. Alright, stay tuned.